fans, it's once again time for the annual Turbo Tournament, the rudest and rowdiest racing event in all of the Pepperoni Kingdom. The one race that brings motorcycle clubs together from all across the globe to determine who's the rudest. Am I reading this right? We're gonna, we're gonna say that again? Huh. No, it's your trailer. It's your trailer. We'll do what you want, man. I'm just, it's a weird choice. To determine who's the rudest and rowdiest of them all. Some come armed with brains, others come armed with brawn, but all come prepared to do anything to win. This is Turbo, the fast-paced racing game of bashing, blasting, and playing dirty tricks. Turbo is a miniature board game where two to four players hit the track in an attempt to take home the title of Turbo Champion by either outracing or outlasting their opponents. Taking inspiration from action-packed, quick-to-learn board games of our youth and kart racing video games of the 16-bit era, Turbo takes 30 to 45 minutes to play with an incredibly light learning curve. In Turbo, players pick from one of four pretty awesome biker clubs. Each biker club is composed of three bike classes, a light, a medium, and a heavy. Each biker has their own amount of hit points and rolls attack and defense dice equal to their bike's weight. Once the racers are set, each player rolls three movement dice and then locks a single die to each one of their bikes. Planning out your moves is very important as there are special spaces on the board that can help guarantee your victory. And, and that's what you want, is, is your victory. You want to win. For example, if you hit the active boost space, you immediately get to roll the boost die and keep on cruising like the fun. I, I, can't, I can't say that, can I? Then like a cool guy on a motorcycle. Anyway, hitting that active boost space can get you in position to blast your opposition. Blasting too impersonal for you? Like your altercations a little more face to face? Then cruise up close to your enemies and swing for the stadium fences. Hit that critical to deal extra damage and keep on swinging for homers, babe. Seriously? Or if you're the one on the receiving end and you're getting tired of getting beaten on, cruise on over to a tune-up space and grab a few tune-up cards. They'll help you even out the odds through cheating. And as a guy who cheats a lot, it's, it's pretty cool. I recommend it. What kind of cheating can tune-up cards help you do? They can dizzy an opponent's bike and make that dummy drive the wrong way, or let you drop a pick strip in the middle of the road to slow your opponents down. They can also grant you special attacks or make your regular attacks stronger. Oh, you drink that turbo juice, you cute little jelly bean. Glug, glug, glug. Of course, sometimes you'll be in the lead, and all you'll need is that speed. To, to go faster, I mean. I'm not. Look, what I'm trying to say is bashing, blasting, and playing dirty tricks is not the only way to win turbo. Get far enough ahead, and you'll simply outpace those slow pokes. Each time the lead biker gets to the end of the board, the rear section is cleared of all obstacles, wrecked bikers, and active bikers that were too slow to keep up. If your biker club has the last biker racing, then you win. And trust me, brother, that victory is pretty sweet. Turbo comes with 12 miniatures making up four biker clubs, four attack dice, four defense dice, three standard movement dice, a boost die, two folding game board sections, a punch board for health tokens and pick strips, a deck of tune-up cards, and a rule book. And if you back our game today on Kickstarter, you're gonna be given an additional biker club just for pledging, because we couldn't make this project possible without your support. So thank you for your support and help us spread the word about the rudest, really rudest and rowdiest. Apparently this is the rudest and rowdiest Kickstarter of all time.